Hey Lashy Kids and Driving Mutants, I'm Lady Shasha, Mistress of the Snark, and today I want to talk about Miss 45. First of all, this sewing studio looks legit. The machines, the slopers, the muslin mock-ups, and the fashion drawings all look right. One of my biggest pet peeves in cinema is when they don't make an attempt to make a workplace look real. This looks so authentic, I think they just found a real sewing studio to film in. Fun fact about me, my first degree is in fashion design and merchandising and I spend a lot of time in sewing studios. I got such a warm, nostalgic feeling just looking at this sewing studio. We meet our main character working there. She is a mute girl named Thana. By the way, the name Thana is reminiscent of the Greek god of death, Thanatos. Six minutes into this movie, Thana is victimized. Eight minutes in, she's victimized again. This movie wastes no time getting to the point of why our protagonist becomes a vigilante out for revenge. People talk about how uncomfortable the essay scene and Irreversible was. The second an essay scene in this movie could give that one a run for its money. One of the things I find interesting about this movie is that we only get to know our main character for about five minutes before she is assaulted, yet we still empathize with her. What's that? An overhead shot? Bet you thought James Wan invented that. This is a great looking movie. The version that I watched was on Tubi, and I think it was digitally remastered. Also, this actor looks striking. I love her wide set eyes and full lips. Her face is really beautiful and expressive. The actor's name is Zoe Lund, and she was only 17 years old when this movie was filmed. That's hella inappropriate, especially when you consider the essay scenes that she had to film. She does a great job showing Thana's metamorphosis from shy seamstress to dangerous femme fatale. In addition to her acting, the costume design adds to her transition, as once she becomes a vigilante, she is almost always seen wearing red and black. At this party scene, they show a trumpet player, but I hear a saxophone. This band plays the worst song, and it is so repetitive. And I can't believe people are dancing to this. Anna shows up in her iconic nun costume with the bright red lip. She's all red at first, but then her boss tries to essay her and she snaps. And when I say she snaps, she snaps. Basically, she loses it and tries to shoot every man that she sees. There's a shot of her with a very familiar painting behind her. It's the painting from Driller Killer. That's when I noticed that this was also directed by Abel Ferreira. That would explain the repetitive music. At the time of this recording, Miss 45 was available on Tubi with limited commercial interruption and also on Shutter, completely commercial free. Anyway, Miss 45 is a classic in my book, but don't take my word for it. Watch it for yourself. Just because I love something doesn't mean you won't hate it. Just because I hate something doesn't mean you won't love it. Have you seen Miss 45? What did you think of it? Let me know in the comments. Until next time.